Hey everyone, I want to show you something. I have this flat roof I'm standing on, right here. The house is four years old, from the builder. The entire slope of the roof is built of crooked. So instead of for the water going down the gutter and pipe, it's actually sitting by the house, penetrating into the house frames, makes it all wet, humid. So I gotta all fix it. Again, four years old house, Toronto area, King City to be exact. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna go and tear it out, the whole thing, and I'll show you right now. Redo it um, and show you some videos how we've done it and the tools we've used. Hopefully it won't take too long. Let's take a look what we have. This is the roof. It's about eight foot, maybe a little less wide. And it's a little longer around. It's done with the shingle roll. Um, we've got the material already brand new. What are we gonna be doing here? We're gonna be redoing the whole roof. Even this, so basically this corner, it's the highest corner. And then here, it's the lowest corner. Everything here, it's the lowest. This is where the, all the water goes. Some of it settles here. We can see actually the door. This pipe across, it's basic, basically taking the water from the, the entire roof, majority of the roof above the house. It's going down here. And before I used to go up to here only and then last week I got annoying with that so I actually went and I grabbed, I grabbed another pipe and I added over here so to put it directly into the down pipe but it still didn't help because the entire roof collects a lot of water there's a couple of inches of water settles here each day when it rains um, and this summer was a bad summer for us it's mid-June when it, summer yes but we didn't really have any summer so it's raining any other day even today it's cloudy but it should be fine. The precipitation is only 20%, should be fine. So another problem we have here, it's this flashing above the flat roof. Uh, the angle of it is incorrect too. It's basically almost straight and it's a little tilted outside. And what happens is when the water settles here, um, after a little while, it goes and drains down the edge of the house, of the porch. I'll show you what it is. And it makes it all wet and yellow and stained because the slope isn't correct so everything will have to be redone so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna remove the railings these ones there's three of those all the railings gonna be removed um i'll put them down i'll remove the the copying the flashing which i'm gonna install later back on probably the same pieces but on the correct angle and then i'm gonna tear off the roof rebuild the sub for the subroof and uh, put back new materials, new shingle rolls. Hopefully it's gonna be done nice and quick with no major delays. I have everything except the new plywood. I don't know the conditions of this plywood underneath, um, the base. So we'll see, once I tear it out, I'm gonna go jump to a hardware store and grab some few, few sheets of plywood. We have all the tools. There's a full trailer of tools ready to go. My ladder is actually here right uh, my water is here this ropes straps i have because i'm gonna be what i'm gonna be doing i'll take the railings off and then uh, i'll drop them down carefully with the rope with the straps down to the ground so i don't have to go up and down with every piece um that would uh, give me a little bit of the time that's about it i'll make a few more videos on the way and we'll go from there and I'll explain what I've done and what I see. And then if there is anything interesting, you guys are gonna see it all. Wish me luck. Okay, here is an update. I took off the railings. I took off the flashing. All over. Yeah, it took me 15 minutes more, maybe for everything. Tools I've used. It's these. And a set of branches. I'm not gonna show it, obviously, what it is. My railings are over there, as I said, I'll drop them with the rope. Um, I also took off the, the by, by the wall, by the, by the exterior wall flashing too, which is here. I'm going to be definitely reusing these ones. 
they're in great shape the main flashing over here i wasn't able to remove it or i was able to remove it but i decided to go ahead and knock them down completely and do my own flashing i have the bender because the initial um edge for the existing flashing it was only covering up this plywood that is what it has and um it was basically sitting at the edge right here it wasn't cool i didn't like that so i said i'm gonna go and do new flashing here which is gonna go and overlap a little further and give me some uh water drainage in case the slope still won't be correct um but generally speaking the sides the walls done not bad everything is solid but again the tilt the angle of the road this is my major problem water settles where it shouldn't settle um i took off the pipe for now as well anyway now i'm gonna be cutting the the shingle roll um removing tearing out everything redoing the roof and uh, putting a new one keep you posted here so that's what it is yeah they put about five six inches up on the angle not too bad nice job the frame is screwed up the roof and then the roof itself got bad unfortunately so i cleaned up the caulking already here some of them like this thing it pulls out very easy so you just grab and pull it and then otherwise the new the new one um there's no garbage for so far except the flashing which is over there caulking pieces and some screws and nails that, that's about it for now will be garbage more stay tuned so still here working on the roof it's been about an hour show you what i've done so far here it is i took off majority of the shingles i cut it off around like that it's all gone there's only one little piece left here and here's how i'm doing it with a shovel normal typical homeowner shovel but it helps me to lift like that and release the glue, the adhesive. Yeah, just like that. And then I throw down all the other pieces. It's getting really warm. Sun comes out, and then I'm throwing down all the all the pieces. Go downstairs, clean them up, bring the vacuum over here, vacuum it right here blow it with the blower probably and start working on the new angle for the on the new angle new slope for this roof plywood wise it's not too bad okay so what i've done so far on this roof um i took it off everything is clean perfect um vacuumed it blowed a little bit the dust so it's good to work um plywood is great the old one the sub roof it's actually good not an issue with that except the slop that i'm working on it so i went to i end up going to home depot and i decided to um, add another layer of plywood on top of the existing one with the only difference i have a bird over there singing me all on the, as i speak so anyway i decided to go to home depot and uh, get some more plywood i got uh, three sheets of plywood some two by four some one by fours that gives me um, um tools to work uh, on a slab on the current slab it cost me 130 dollars the wood uh, part um, and here is what i've done i'm gonna show you so basically speaking before all the slab all the angle was going towards the house now i've raised over there this is uh, just over an inch inch and a quarter about approximately the very first two and then it goes a little less and a little less so what i've done is basically where's my level uh, here it is So I put it that way and gradually it goes down. Uh, it has a bigger slope right now. Uh, it will be about uh, almost an inch, an inch of uh, water for the water to drain down towards this guy over here. Um, that is the idea. So right now what I have by the house, it's the highest. And then where this pipe is coming from, it's a little higher as well. It's about uh, 
5 degrees more slope or quarter inch uh, 316 basically the water would come here from the main roof and would gradually gonna go in here until it reaches the slot so now i've had the new plywood i've cut um it would be two and a half sheets here basically eight inches length so i'm gonna install the first one shim it underneath here uh give it the final support um for the second one it's tongue and groove what i'm getting here is tongue and groove this is what they have right now i've noticed it so i've got the same one basically five eight of an inch uh, thickness tongue and groove i'll start with this piece first and then i'll install that second one over here and then i'll shape it over there with the shapes and turns that would be the third one um i'll, I'll use some pl to glue it over and then once it's tight uh, start rolling the uh, protective film and then shingles Another thing I've noticed over here, it's I've had a quite a big gap. It's over an inch gap over here in between the house and plywood, and it's really kind of ugly. So I've got here a, a expansion foam, which is this guy. It's called extreme weather. So I've been using that for windows and doors. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go and fill up that crack with the foam. That got, that would give me potentially an extra protection for for the water in case it gets in there and because it is soft and a foam that would give me a movement winter and summer so the house would be able or the porch would be able to move accordingly um, so it should be fine uh, once the plywood is in I'll start on the shin going and keep you posted stay tuned hi guys so basically the sub roof is ready now um, as I said started it from this way from this piece went that way and ended up in doing that little piece over there which is a half of a sheet approximately what i've done else what else i've done is i've trimmed that piece i took over earlier so basically speaking i am ready to run through aiming for the roof it's all good to go it's all secured screwed like that yeah tangum groove makes it a different Tied up, tied up and aligns all the sheets together instead of trying to align them yourself it's nice yeah so i've cleaned up a little bit so i'm gonna go and bring the the underlayment start rolling it from here and i'm gonna come that way three four rolls and uh, stop on the shingles another thing i'm gonna do is this so that piece this coping where the flashing was sitting on top that part it's straight and the water settles here and as i said the water drains eventually over here and ruins my brick and it's all wet 24 7 once it's raining really not nice and ugly and ruins the brick and uh, the cement in between so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go and lift this thing it's actually a little loose i'm gonna lift that thing put some shims underneath that would give me the tilt towards the inside since inside I have the drought the drainage already and it's all set so this is how it's going to be all three I'm gonna shim them a little bit I'll make quarter inch swap on the inside and then once I do new flash in here um, so it's always going to be straight and invisible I'm gonna make a little bigger wider uh, curve over here to let the the water running down when it's raining but once it stops raining on all the water it's gonna go inside here should be fine keep you posted stay tuned